All right, hey guys, what's going on? Hayden here, back with another episode of Veneer Craft. And as you may notice, I'm on the um, title screen. I've been gone at camp for a week, and Ryan messaged me today when I got my phone back that I needed to be recording when I got on to the server. I've not been on yet. This is my first time. I am honestly scared. I really hope he did not bamboo my base. That would be unfortunate. Give me a second. Okay, now it should work. Yes, okay. Oh, that's right. I, I was AFK over at my slime farm. Um, um, oh, this is a, just a little bit of, just, just, just a little bit of, um, props, but hey, actually, looking at, thinking about it, yeah, I got a bit of, Got some more iron stuff. Excuse me. Okay, they're there. I, just, I, I thought I thought my villagers had disappeared, and I, I was I was a I was about like I was pretty close to murdering Ryan if he lost my villagers. Ha! Huh, this is gonna this is gonna take some cleanup. Jeez, Ryan. Jeez, this is a lot. I wonder how many hoes he went through. That's my big thing. I like. I I legitimately want to know that. Man, this must have taken a hot sec. That's crazy. And it's like rutabagas and wheat. Rutabagas, turnip, beetroots, and wheat. So it's not even like. Like once once it fills my inventory, it's it's gonna be a pain in the butt to. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. You know what? It's gonna be even more of a pain in the butt because I will have four. Each of these things will be dropping four different actual like items. Actually, I wonder, how well would this work? Uh, buckets. I'll just. Remove these waters, they're gonna need to be removed soon anyway, but what if I I mean yeah, I'm afraid since I have so many hills and bumps in my base, it is, you know what would be cool? Getting some like real shaders in here, more than just the internal shaders, like ones that kind of make the, let me get a couple of screenshots of this and then let me go to sleep for Caitlin real quick, but let me get a couple of screenshots of this. What is this? Like? Your tent looked a little too yellow, wanted to help a friend out. Man. Oh. I genuinely don't know if I'm even going to attempt to actually like break all of this. He he really he changed the ground to stone bricks and stuff, but then he just left the signs. Was the ground here already stone bricks? I don't remember. I don't think it was. Okay. Well, let me do some brainstorming, figure out what I'm going to do this episode. I think I'm just gonna leave all this. I don't. I really just do not feel like trying to break it all. At this moment in time, I got the slime farm. I got a layer of the slime farm done. I'm not really gonna worry about showing that because that's nothing interesting. 
but I am going to go ahead and work on the project for today, which is a wood farm of sorts. Um, basically, it, it'll automatically break the wood for me as I place it. An AFK wood farm. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. What is this? Please don't blame me. I tried to stop him read the book. Joker. Uh-oh. Hello, my good sure. It's been a while since you left me with no one to talk to. I had to talk to a guy, with a guy I found on Craigslist, and I was talking to him about you and how your base was really big, and he asked me to pay him two cents. I thought it was weird because he was a great member, but after I looked at his name again, it said Garden Maker. After I read it, I, I tried to stop him in quotations, I might point out real quick, but he really wanted to do it for some weird reason. Where reason? Ryan does know he can go in and edit this book, right? For some weird reason. I know I couldn't stop him, so I asked him why he really wanted to do it. He told me to tell you that. You want to see him make the farm? You should go to Ryan's channel at 720 to watch. You should also subscribe to him. He's a really cool person. And you should go watch a Sky Factory 3 playthrough. P.S. The Garden Maker with me if you didn't know. Your best friend, I hope, because that would be awkward. Ryan, it's Ryan, not Brian. Link in description as always. So, Wood Farm. Let me go and look up some designs. I think I'm going to use TNT duping and yeah, I may need to kind of push two, three things together to make a good one. Let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and skip past the 12 minutes of me trying to figure out how this would work because that's really boring and you don't want to see it. So after a few <coughs> failed experiments with, um, TNT duping. I think I'm just going to be doing the basic, just, just the basic design for it. So let me, real quick, let me just clear this out. Um, there. there we go. Now if I grab sapling, stand here, you can see, basically, it will detect when this grows and push it along, and then it'll push it, and then it'll push it along this way, and then this one will activate and push it along this way. And this one will push it this way, and these will push it out this way. It's a pretty clever little design. And not crazy difficult, looks like. Um, okay, but yeah. So let me write, figure out what all materials I need. And then we'll get collecting all those. Okay, so I have all the things I need to build this. Um, and I've kind of started clearing out a bit of it, just kind of as I'm running around. And I've also started blocking up a lot of the water sources, just that it'll revert back to dirt by itself. But I need to figure out, I may just find some coin flipper and Flip a coin to see if I build it near my base or not. Build this near my base. Um, I want to say yes. At the same time, this isn't the prettiest looking thing. It's not the most compact looking thing. And it's not the most lagless thing. Um, and of course I already have processes going at my base. I have the wool farm that's just constantly going, the iron farm constantly going, my melon and pumpkin. Yeah, I'll just build it here. I, I, I was starting to list a lot of them. I was just like, you know, it's really not that much. 
th there's really just not that much that's you know here that's super lag laggy if I can use my mouth to speak yeah so I am going to get started on that I guess um, I'll need to figure out how much of a space I need for it but I'm thinking if I just kind of build it back over <clears throat> kind of back over behind the um, wolf farm like in maybe actually you know what there's this whole spot right here that I haven't done anything I'll put it right here so I'll build it where I come in and go in here and then just have that whole spot okay yeah that's how I'll do it so let me go pull up the video on how to build this and I will get to building okay so if I had to guess at this point I'm give or take about halfway done um Man, this is kind of a confusing circuit and everything, but it uh, should, I mean, it functioned in the testing world, so it should, should hypothetically function here. It's not like it's any sort of super crazy mechanisms or anything. Um, does this actually work? It does. Yay. Anyway, so I'm going to finish building this now, and I'll be back. And with these last two hoppers, it's done. Basically, I whenever I need a bunch of oak wood, I can come up and I'll be like, doo doo doo, stand here. It'll start spend some bone meal. I can just hold right click right on this block um, with saplings in my hand, and until those saplings run out, I'm good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then it'll push them along, and I can use it to. Do it. So I'm actually going to do a bit of a test here in a second, but first I need bone meal, but I have that skeleton farm that has just a bunch of bones sitting at it, so I'll just run over there right quick, and if not, I'll just use my pokey poker to grab some, but first I have now two shulker boxes and a double chest full of stuff I need to sort, so actually I'm going to go down here and grab all of the... Stuff that I've smelted recently to sort as well. And I'm going to sort all this and then I'll go grab those bones and then we can give this a real test. Okay, so I have filled it up with as much bone meal as I have at this moment. I've collected all the bones from this, all of them from over there at my skeleton farm. Um, so saplings, I only have two saplings. Let me get some more saplings before I do this. It may be a smart decision. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gotten, I've gotten enough saplings, but I've hopped over back into the single player world with this all. I'm going to see if I can do it. If the farm functions with birch, let me go see if anything's broken. No, nothing's broken yet. Let's see if the rest of the pushing mechanisms work. Let me actually, real quick. Oh, there's plenty of bone meal in here. Yeah, there's a lot of bone meal left. Okay. But it looks like. Yeah, so it does work with birch as well. Okay, so I can use both birch and oak for this. That's good to know. Okay, well, back to my... Go back to the veneer craft server. Okay, so I have... It's not many, but it'll have to do for now. I mean, this is just going to be a quick test, so... Mostly just making sure everything is <clears throat> functioning right. And I will get saplings back from this farm, but it may not be in full amount, so that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, break that. Okay. It's still not 
And another spot where I'm trying to figure out something with the tree farm, but it's really boring, so I'm not going to show you. Basically, I forgot to place a single piece of redstone, and I'm really ashamed that that was that that was what it was. It it, it was not my brightest moment. Anyway, back to back to the rest of the episode. If you want to know why redstone can be such an annoying thing to use, I present to you this. One piece of redstone is missing. So I'm going to press that. Let me come up here and collect all these leaves. All these saplings, sorry. Come over here. Start doing it again. We should be seeing that it doesn't do that anymore. Yep. Okay. Look over here, you can see started filling it all in. I can just kind of kind of run around here a bit, pick up some of the saplings that fell around where I don't want them. And boom. Okay. Yeah, so this does work. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna run out of saplings and then I'll stop uh, for obvious reasons. Like I'm gonna run out of saplings that I have on me, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a bunch of stone slabs to put down under here so that it kind of has so I have a floor to walk on as I break it. And then I guess that's it for the wood farm. Uh, what else do I want to do? Um, I'm I'm not really using concrete that much, so I don't really care to make an auto concrete breaker. I'm not sure. I guess I'll figure out here in a sec. That's future meets problem because after this I'm probably gonna get off for today. So, but yeah, we'll see. So I've realized that I have more diamonds than I'll probably use for a while, or more not diamonds. I have more wood than I'll probably use for a while. So I'm gonna go over. I think I remember Brandon saying something about how he had opened up a wood shop. Okay, I have like 20 minutes. Um. But, I think he was just selling spruce. If I'm remembering right. Um, this has been... Pretty sad, okay. Um... Oh, here we go. Okay. Wood. Yeah, he just... Well? And sugar cane. Yeah, he's just selling wood. Or he's just selling spruce wood. So I can come in and I can make a oak and uh, birch shop. That's what I'm going to do, but I'll, that'll probably have to wait until at some, some other day because... I mean, same episode, but different day, because I have work and I have to get ready for work in 15 minutes. I don't know what's like work. Work is boring. Annoying. At least I'm closing. Hopefully just me. That'll be nice. Okay, so it's been a few hours, or it's been the next day now. But anyway, so I have done... I have cleared out all the lighting glitches in my mob farm, so hopefully it should start producing stuff soon, and I'll be able to stock that shop because I need to stock. 
I need to work on stocking all my shops is what I need to do. I need to stop spending all the, like I need to stop using all the stuff that I'm stocking my shops with and actually you know fill my shop with stock but anyway kind of on that topic so I need to go and get some more wood and I was talking to EJ last night about prices and everything for wood and basically he said that he thinks a good price would be or like kind of talking to him and everything we figured out a good price would probably be around um maybe close to like one diamond and five saplings per stack of wood or per two stacks of wood because i'm making i make most of my saplings back but of course there are the saplings that i don't so charging saplings as well will help me get back some of that lossage on the saplings. And it helps it stay a wee bit cheaper. So, but yeah, so let me, I'm going to get some saplings and then I'm going to do that. And then we actually need to um, build the storefront. Because currently I don't actually have a store for it, but I need to figure out how I want to do it. I'm thinking maybe like a, like a, kind of like a river barge or something. Um, I'm not doing what I think it was, what Scar did and build a giant tree. So, because I'm not that dedicated and, you know, my logs are for selling, not for building. Well, they're for building, but currently they're for selling. Anyway, I will be back in a bit. I'm trying to think how I want this one to be set up. I don't think I'm going to go with the whole barge idea. That's going to be kind of difficult. Guess what, guys? Time for a bit more brainstorming. Woo! I did way too much of this this episode. I, I'm sorry. Okay, so after a wee bit of redstone engineering, I have created my wood shop. Um, and if you want to know why I said Western Engineering, that is because if I come over here and press this button, I drop down into the wood shop. Let me go ahead and put a torch in here. And then if I press this button, I get out of the wood shop. And it's all in a nice little portal loop. There we go. Okay, so now well, I need to build this on the server, which it's a bit of it's a bit messy of redstone, so it may take me a couple of minutes. Okay, I'll be back once I get this done. Okay, so it's finished. Just have the portaloo, um, and so you walk up. That goes, and you actually have to. Hold crouch for it, or else it'll just bounce you right back up. And you come in here, I have this little cave. In here, all nice and cozy. Um, I may be, I may get, see if I can get some mossy cobble and add some of that in. Um, just give it a bit more color. Um, and then, yeah, I have birch wood, oak wood, and then I have a, if you would be willing to donate some saplings, I would thank you. Or I would thank you. Um, yeah, so it's a nice little place. Um, I like it. I think it turned out pretty well. I wasn't expecting it to turn out this well. But, yeah. So. We go ahead and go out. I actually think I timed it, like, perfectly to where. Yeah. It just launches you right back out on top of it. So, that's. That's nice. Okay, so let me write a little thing saying, hey, this thing exists now. And then I'm probably going to get off because I have work in like 10, no, not 10 minutes, but like 30 minutes, I think. Oh, it's I, like, Caitlin, 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 Caitlin. Yeah, I'm up here. Uh oh. Oh, oh, it's a phantom. Probably after me. No, he definitely hit me. Well, he can, he can aggro to other people. But I probably spawned him. 
I was AFK and for a little bit. Go do the so. sleep AFK thing. Can this be the thumbnail, Hayden? The no. I already have a good. thumbnail. That's crap. What do you want? Okay. I'm okay, I'm gonna... it, it, just, just jump. Lazy. Okay. Me and What's my... up, MTV? Me. Welcome to my crib. Come on, come inside. So first, we got the little entry room with some fancy little like. I don't know what these are called. But they have cacti on them. Flower pots? No, no, no. I don't know what to call these stair things with the thing. They look cool. Then you go up here. Whoa, you already went up here? That's illegal, but okay. This is my bedroom. Oh. Got like a fun little green moment going on with a double bed so I can have a person in my bed too. Wishful and thinking come there. Come up here. Oh my god! It's my entertainment room. We got like a fun little couch thing. Made out of cobblestone. <laughs> we got a fireplace with a TV. We're watching a creeper movie. A creepy movie! No, you broke it! It's so cool, you go long time. No, I you didn't! Yeah, you did. I did not break it. My hand was. My fingers were like hovering above my keys. Yeah. You broke there it. You See? It's a cool. creepy movie. About a creeper. You can't go up anymore, that's the roof. Yeah, but I got all of fun design. We got crown molding. That's ah. I'm calling this up here. And we have like a fun little ba boom ba boom between the layers. Uh, a what? <laughs> a fun little ba boom ba boom. Okay. okay. And on yeah. that cringy note, thank y'all for watching this episode of Veneercraft. Caitlin is oh. getting there, I think. I, I think this is better. better. Um, I, 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 pool? I think this is better. That is I, better. I made a, that design all I'm, my own. I'm not entirely sure if it's better, but I think it's an improvement. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, like, comment, and subscribe. That is a very important thing that you need to do. Um, hit that notification bell to get notified of whenever I upload another episode of Veneercraft, because I don't have an upload schedule these days. Just kind of happens occasionally. Oh gosh, I got shot with my own arrow. Are you filming the video? And yeah, thank you all for watching. Goodbye.